One man, one mission. To rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Welcome, warriors. You are listening to The Anxiety Guy podcast with host Dennis Simsek. I am tremendously grateful to be able to be here with you in this podcast episode, whether you are just waking up, going for a walk, going for a drive, at work, no matter where you are, I want to be there for you towards your healing of anxiety and total transformation. So thank you. Thank you for letting me in. And ongoing right now on YouTube is the 29 Days of the Anxiety Guy, one video every single day in the month of February that will create tremendous clarity on your road to recovery from anxiety and total transformation. So head on over to YouTube, subscribe, hit the bell for all the notifications, and catch up. Catch up to those videos right now. Warriors, Today's podcast episode is about the support people. We're talking the friends, we're talking the family, we're talking about the people that we spend time with. Many times it can be quite encouraging to have these people around, and many times it can be very, very difficult to be around these people simply because they don't understand the journey. Now, From what I've recognized, there are three types of supporters, okay, three different types of supporters of somebody suffering from an anxiety disorder. I'm going to get into all three types of supporters, and I want you to be able to relate these supporters to some of your supporters, okay? Kind of go, ooh, yeah, that sounds like my friend, or that sounds like my spouse, or that's exactly the way my family is, or so forth. Try to connect it to some of your supporters, because I will give you the solutions on how to deal with these supporters in order to get the most from them towards your healing journey. Now, The first type of supporter is a person that says they care and they say they want to support you, but are never there for you. Do you know anyone like this? Let's understand these people. These people either have a full cup of suppressed emotion that they are struggling to deal with. These people don't know the difference between anxiety and stress, and therefore they believe that you should think your way out of it already. Think your way out of it. It's all in your head. Or these people are lazy and ignorant. Now, I'm not much for sugarcoating the support people in an anxiety sufferer's life, as you can see. We need to understand, hey, do they have suppressed emotion that they're dealing with? Hey, do they truly know the difference between anxiety and stress? Or are they just lazy and ignorant? The solutions on how to deal with this type of anxiety supporter comes down to this. Number one, I want you to give them an ultimatum. Either we work together or I'll be limiting my time with you, period. Don't settle for anything else. Number two, allocate 15 minutes every single day to you journaling while they educate themselves through some piece of content that helps them understand anxiety better. So every single day, preferably in the evening, Take 15 minutes for you to journal what happened throughout the day, what were your wins, what moments of clarity did you have, and so forth. If you're looking for a structured way to journal, start the End the Anxiety program today at theanxietyguy.com. 
And while you're doing the journaling for 15 minutes, they are engulfed in some type of content that helps them understand anxiety better. Honey, it's that time again. Let's do it. Number three, if you're dealing with someone like this who says, I'm there for you, but they really never are, leave. Dennis, I can't leave. No, you can leave. Leave them. Let them feel the pain of not having your beautiful spirit around. The pain of separation will lead to a commitment to being there for you, I promise. You are worthy of change. You are worthy of proper support on your journey towards healing. Understand that. The biggest reason people don't leave is because they feel less worthy. But understand that, hey, you know what? I can do this on my own. I don't need these people in my life. And if you're not going to fully leave, just spend less time around them. I promise you, this kind of action slaps them in the face and says, wow, this person's serious, and I should take their anxiety just as seriously. Now, the second type of anxiety supporter is a person that is truly empathetic with your suffering. Truly empathetic. They listen, they respond well to you, but they're too overwhelmed and depleted to be there for you. Too overwhelmed, too depleted. Now, in this case, it may not be them that's the problem. Understand this. But the problem might be your extreme reliance on them due to feeling powerless within. Does this sound like you? And there may be a fear of responsibility due to the fear of failure and a low level of self-worth going on within you. You may feel that you're undeserving of change because you broke way too many life rules. Your parents' rules, your coaches' rules, your teachers' rules, they accumulated, they compounded over time, and you don't feel worthy of change. Now, we have to understand that the solutions are clear when it comes to someone that is empathetic towards your suffering, they listen well, they respond well to you. This has a lot more to do with you than it has to do with them. The solution is, we must turn our focus back on to the one person that can truly heal these challenges, you. We mustn't place our progress in the hands of how much time others spend with us. Also, we must escape the need for significance and the feeling of sympathy that we get from other people. The more we talk to these people about our challenges, the more significant and sympathetic we feel. We must escape this world. It's very easy to get caught up in the good feelings that we get from other people when we talk about how challenging our lives are. Therefore, we stay in the realm of the addiction to suffering. Do you want to stay in the realm of the addiction to suffering forever? I don't think so. The third type of anxiety supporter is someone that is willing to do whatever it takes to help. They provide great feedback, but you feel like you can never truly grasp their advice. Does this sound like you? In this case, you may not feel worthy of receiving their support and their love, so you block them out. Be honest. With this kind of supporter, you've hypnotized yourself to believe overcoming anxiety is too hard. So no matter what advice you get, your unconscious mind blocks you from accessing the solutions. Again, 
You may be meeting your need for sympathy and certainty by staying the victim and feel that you may lose this connectedness with them should you heal. Dig deep with me. Here are the solutions. Number one. Start building trust in your intuition during moments where you don't fear. I want you to listen. I want you to accept. And I want you to act. This is best to be done when you're alone and preferably in nature. The intuition starts to show up more and more as the fear starts to subside. Number two. Begin slowly distancing yourself from talking about your anxiety with them and begin becoming more present with them in the moment. Being present, meaning optimistic and grateful. These types of conversations, they shouldn't feel like they anticipate an anxiety-based conversation every time you're near. Rather, they should anticipate a conversation that emphasizes progress and faith. This is the feeling I want them to get when they're around you. Number three, find all the reasons why you deserve to experience self-love at the highest levels again. Relying on others keeps us powerless and strengthens the fear-based subconscious programs within. Taking power back through self-love leads us to questioning those same subconscious programs leading to life where we can manifest whatever we desire. Whatever we desire. I want to leave you with this quote. Never allow the words, I don't know, to be an option. You do know. You just don't trust what you know. So give yourself a chance to see beyond your common ways of fear and a lack of faith starting today. I believe in you. And now it's time for you to become relentless in your healing journey in order for you to begin believing in yourself as well. Have a wonderful day. Remember that you are more than anxiety and if you have any other questions on the number one anxiety recovery programs today, head on over to TheAnxietyGuy.com. I love you. Bye-bye.